<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, doing a bit of a different setup here because I'm actually kind of breaking in a webcam right now. So one of the things I'd like to know is your thoughts on the quality here, what can change. But anyways, this is not going to be about the webcam. This is kind of a test of it, but more a review of this, the Amazon Basic Switch case, which I don't have the exact name of off the top of my head, but that's what I'm calling it, this cheap Amazon Basic Switch case. I'm going to be reviewing it real quick for you all, letting you know my thoughts, and then answering the question, is it worth the money? That's going to be a little, of a, little bit of a complicated answer, I guess we can say. But either way, let's go ahead and get into this. So... I already have enough switch cases at this point, don't I? I end up getting a basic switch case with my messenger bag that I initially purchased. I got a dubby switch case, which was pretty good, but kind of bulky. I got a iVoler switch case, which I liked quite a bit and holds everything. So I decided to pick this up because of the price, which I'm gonna get into later on. So this is really almost as basic as it can be. Uh, it's a nice rugged looking case. So if you drop it, you should hopefully feel comfortable picking it back up and resuming your game and such and not having to worry about any defects with your Switch. I've had to return my Switch a few times, not with dropping with other issues, those are completely separate topics that I have multiple videos on that I recommend you check out. But either way, this is not what that's going to be about. This is, again, more about the case. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. It comes in black and red. I obviously got the red one here, but there's a all black one you can also get. Once you open it up, you can hold the Switch with two Joy-Con as well as eight additional games. I say additional because you can put one physical game in your Switch and put eight physical games here. There you go, you're now carrying around nine physical games. On top of that, I do like how everything has been cut out accordingly to, you know, all the notches and grooves that would be needed for the Switch, so everything is going to stay in place real nice. On top of that, if we do remove the Switch, we also have a few little indentations right here for the latch releases as well as, you know, where the triggers are going to go. So this is supposed to perfectly fit your Switch, and it really does. So if all you want to do is carry around your Switch in handheld mode with a few additional games, this is a great case. This will definitely get the job done. It is a little bit heavy, but I mean, that's also to protect it. Now my usage of it, recently I went on a trip and what I would do was I was carrying around a messenger bag, not the Switch one, a different messenger bag, and I would just chuck this into the messenger bag and I would walk around throughout the day. Um, so normally I used my Switch, I'd say <laughs> there were a lot of days I didn't even use it, but if I did use it, I might have used my Switch in town maybe 20 or 30 minutes. So I didn't bring a charger with me. So if you're one of those people where you know throughout the day you do want to play your Switch, but you're not going to play it for more than a few hours or you're okay with the battery dying, then this is pretty sufficient. If you don't want to carry around any accessories or if you have a big bag to put them in, this is still sufficient as well. So something like, I don't know, if you're going to classes and such and you just want to throw your Switch in your bag with a few extra games and maybe your charger, that'll work out. But if you're wanting to bring along your dock, extra controllers, all that other fun stuff, you should lick it, look into another case, such as the iBowler case, which was the last one that I reviewed. I did like that one, so that's why I kind of keep mentioning it. Now, this here, is it worth the money? Um, I would say for what I paid, absolutely, but also what I paid, almost any case would be worth the money. I paid $3.87 for this, brand new from Amazon, and at that point, any switch case in my opinion is going to be worth the money so i end up getting a steal on this because i think this is a fantastic case especially at that price but before you get too excited before you get too excited i'm, I'm just going to warn you this is where it gets a little bit complicated a few weeks ago i thought of making this review so i decided to look up the price for it on amazon and it went up to ten dollars which for ten dollars yeah i would still absolutely recommend it but right before making this video i decided to look up the case again and it's now a $20 case. So I'm not sure what's going on with it. I think it was more before and then it went down in price. And I don't think they were trying to clearance them out. I think it was just on like some kind of crazy sale, but it was weird because when I bought it, it was on a sale, but you had to purchase like $30 worth of stuff before you could add it to your cart. So I kind of just stuck it into my cart for later. And then I waited until I had to do a bigger Amazon order and I ended up getting the case. So 
that's how I waited to do it. But for like a week or two, it was really cheap. It was under $5. So if you can get it for under $5, I absolutely worth it. Uh, think it's worth it. If you can get it for $10, I still think it's worth it. However, at the current price point, $20, that's going to be up to you at that point. In my opinion, I would much rather spend another $10 getting a case that's going to hold everything. Uh, there's a few solutions out there, but one of them, the main one I'm thinking of is the iVolar case, which I had reviewed last. For $30, I think that's great and it carries around everything. However, if you're wanting something that is going to only carry the Switch a few games and will protect it, this is an excellent solution, but it's totally up to you if you think $20 is going to be worth that cost entry. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated. If you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well, too.